Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Back in episode 7, if any of you have watched enough to know sequentially, I said that my children's book personal library did not include much in the way of comedic volumes. Today's book would be one of the exceptions to that. We are looking at a little golden book entitled Oscar's Book, as in Oscar from Sesame Street. This is Oscar's Book by Jeffrey Moss, pictures by Michael Gross. And the introductory page is very interesting because Oscar's right there. Listen, I'm a grouch and this is my book and I don't want you to read it. It's not very nice. There is some interesting text here I need to read in the fine print. Oscar the Grouch is performed by Carol Spinney. This educational book was created in cooperation with the Children's Television Workshop, producers of Sesame Street. Children do not have to watch the television show to benefit from this book. Workshop revenues from this project will be used to help support CTW educational projects. For reference, the price of this book at the time was 89 cents. It's printed here on the front cover. And now, on to Oscar the Grouch. Hey, who said you could come so close to me? I want to play with my trash and I want you far, far away. This it is... breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> and this is a close-up of Oscar the Grouch with a beat-up shoe in one hand and a broken alarm clock in the other. And some stuff in between. Mm-hmm. Good. Now you're far from me and I can play with my wonderful yucky trash. We're about halfway down the street now. Hey, you came close again. Okay, if that's the way you're going to be, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move out of this trash can and let somebody else move in. Okay. It gets better. I remember way too much of this. Hello there. I'm a little girl and I live in this trash can. My name is Melody. Oscar the Grouch doesn't live here anymore, so I guess everybody will have to find someone else to bother. Uh-oh, here comes somebody. Oh, look, there's a new little girl in our neighborhood. Hey, everybody, come meet the new little girl on Sesame Street, says Big Bird. <laughs> I love you, Big Bird. <laughs> Likewise. And Oscar. Oh, no. Because uh, what you can't see is that this little girl, Melody, kind of looks a lot like Oscar the Grouch with a blonde wig. All right, all right. I was just pretending. There's no little girl here. See, it's me. Oscar, now will everybody leave me alone? Oh, that's like half the cast mm -hmm. that showed up to meet the new little girl on Sesame Street. Yeah, that's kind of how they are. Four random kids just pop up on the street. Mm -hmm. Several thousand of them, maybe millions of them now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've had it. Now you'll never see me again. I'm going to do something so you'll never be able to find me. Uh-oh. Now no one will ever find me. Ha ha. A pyramid of trash cans. Yep. What do you mean you can see me? He's peeking out of one of them. Also, speech bubble. Okay, so you can see me. So what? I've got another idea. I've got the biggest and best way ever to keep people from bothering me. Wait till everybody sees what I'm going to do with my trash can. <laughs> Here it is. The super duper grouch rocket balloon designed to take me up into the sky where no one will ever be able to bother me. Yes, it's been turned into a balloon with a propeller and he's wearing something as a helmet. Also, there appear to be fireworks or rockets. Up I go, away from everybody. Fantastic, goodbye forever. Boy, it's really terrific up here. Hey, wait a minute, what's that dumb little bird doing? Flying towards his hot air balloon. Oh no, that bird popped my balloon and I'm going down. Are you still reading this book? Can't I ever get you to go away? Hey, I've got an idea. Do you know the difference between open and closed? Okay. Well, 
Now your eyes are open. See if you can close your eyes really tight and keep them closed while you turn the page. I was required to do this while my parents read me this book. Okay. Ha! Now your eyes are closed and you can't see me and that's how I like it. A speech bubble on a two-page spread of black. Hmm. Sounds convenient. <laughs> hey, who said you could open your eyes? Bossy much? Boy, you're really something. First I disguised myself. Then I tried to hide from you. Then I built my super duper grouch rocket balloon. And then I tricked you into closing your eyes. Now this book is almost over and I still can't get you to go away. Nice. Hey, wait a minute. This is the end of this book. When you close this book, I won't have anybody to complain to. I like yelling and complaining, so don't close this book. Hey, come back here. You really make me mad. <laughs> nice use of the fourth wall break. For the entirety of a book. Because as a kid who watched Sesame Street, who wouldn't want to have their characters talk to them? Yeah. But, you know... It's not a very nice book, because he's a grouch. But Oscar really is kind of a nice guy. What is this, like original Sundere? <laughs> I've always liked the grouch. I like the grouch. I like Big Bird. I'm not a big fan of Elmo. Oh my gosh. Ever? <laughs> yeah, because Elmo's been around for a while, but he just got popular in the like, 90s? Uh, I think thereabouts. And he's just been popular ever since, apparently. Yeah, but there were some wonderful scenes in the movies with Oscar the Grouch because they went to a museum and he was in the damaged art section. Mm. All of the historic statues and stuff that had been damaged over time. And he was really just blown away by that. Because, mm. hey, that's some high quality trash right there. <laughs> uh, I also was a big fan of the Cookie Monster. Well, yeah. I'm glad he's still popular. Yes, even if we had to change the song to Cookies Are Sometimes Food. Oh. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. Yep. So that was actually really fun to read. I got to rant to you guys for, was that a good 17, 18 pages? But we're kind of at the end, so I guess you might be leaving now. So uh, this was uh, Ember's Reading Room presentation of Oscar's book by Jeffrey Moss, pictures by Michael Gross, a little golden book. Uh, hey, did you like this book? Oh no, you couldn't have liked it, but if you want to check it out, uh, we'll see if we can get you an Amazon link if it's still in print. Do you like getting money back when you shop? Nah, no, no, you don't like that at all. But there's this link for this thing called Ebates, so... If maybe you want to get some money back when you shop, you might want to sign up for it. Get a little bonus. I get a little bonus. But nah, you wouldn't be interested in that at all. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of or in any way affiliated with Ember's Reading Room or any content presented on the Lux Analysis channel. Seriously. Uh, you, you think we can get a lot of people to pay us to do this stuff? We wish.